it's week nine of the 2022 season, and we'll see Brandon Cooks. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Texans and the Eagles on Thursday night primetime. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, we start Week 9 with a primetime matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Houston Texans. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They can't be any better as we hit the halfway mark. A perfect 7-0 on the year. And when we looked at this team in August and we looked at the schedule, we thought they had the potential to get off to a hot start, but I don't think either of us expected 7-0. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This will be fielded inside the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. As the Texans offense runs out, we'll get a peek at the man under center. Second-year quarterback, Davis Mills, out of Stanford. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Mills look into the air right away. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Mills now looks to throw on first down. There again is Cooks complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The numbers for Cooks in that game last week. He was inching up towards 200 yards receiving, a couple of touchdowns, and... I think you said it best at the end of the game. It was a pleasure to watch his performance, wasn't it? Absolutely, because you and I both know none of those numbers came by accident. They were a result of him being in perfect sync with his quarterback. And boy, it was beautiful to watch. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Mills to Charles. You know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level. 7-0. And, oh. and we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere and the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media will start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? The kick by Fairbairn is good. And it's now 3-0 Texans. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. Fairbair now following the main field goal. He'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Throwing his hurts. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. They'll go again with Sanders. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, and pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. First and ten, it's Pierce. And it's a room to maneuver. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Here's Pierce. Touchdown, Houston. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. On second and inches, Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Hurts. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. Found good room to run there. Returns it 14 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. Pushes him over. They find some open field here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
Mills on first down. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll be taken down at the 34. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Another carry for Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce in the final seconds of the first half. And the Texans will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squint kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Fields it right around the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've come up past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, Barney, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. That's returnable now for Smith. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A very good return that time. 18 yards, and the Texans will take over. So here are the Texans to take over. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second and five now. Mills. And that's complete to Cooks. Mills to Cooks there in that connection. Good for Houston first. A first down throw for Mills. And he'll find Aikens there. Complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. To throw again on second down. Mills. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Cooks has it over the middle. 
And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Houston, as we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Oh, those things work for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey down on the O line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and forever. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This will be caught by Brown. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 21. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. From the gun, it's Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. On third down, here's Pierce. 
And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by 13. A little over 40 seconds to go. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Well, this is Smith with a grab. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Throws this one right side to Pascal. He'll get it inside the 20. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And it was her defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency. And they just took control. So for Houston, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And now they'll have a few extra days here before they face the Giants next week. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. And, and they will be back home next week for a date with the Washington Commanders.